The debate on workplace dress codes isn't a new one, but it's been brought back to the forefront this week with a tweet from the BC legislature and the hashtag right to bear arms. It's 2019 and we're still talking about stuff like this. It just seems astonishing. The hashtag took off on social media after female government staff and reporters in Victoria posted photos saying they were being told bear arms are unprofessional at the BC legislature. I think they should be able to bear their arms. I mean, they're, um, they're professional. Women. One MLA saying one of her staff was told to wear a slip under her dress because it was clinging to her legs. Canadian fashion journalist Jeannie Becker says as society evolves, so should the dress codes. I am so uh, shocked that someone would uh, think that contemporary fashion for the business place for women would not include sleeveless tops. I mean, what is wrong with a woman's arm? It struck me that this is a gross misappropriation of a dress code. Um, what dress codes should do when they're used appropriately and they're at their best, uh, same as fashion, is help people feel comfortable and confident in their voice and their skill and their contribution. It happens the same week history was supposed to be made when the first all-female spacewalk was set for Friday. But that was scrapped because of sizing issues. NASA saying there wasn't a suit ready to fit one of the female astronauts. Instead, a male colleague took her spot. And what about men's attire? What about shorts and short sleeve shirts at work? Thursday's uproar in Victoria is creating a national conversation about modernizing dress codes for all genders. When your dress code becomes about policing or catching you wearing something that's not on the list, it's not doing what it should be doing, which is enabling a productive and capable work environment. And so that goes to everybody of, of all genders. The last time a dress code was at the center of conversation at the BC legislature was in 2017, when MLAs stood together to ban employers from forcing women to wear heels at work. While this dress code is going to be reviewed, it's unclear if the rule of mandatory sleeves will get the boot from the ledge. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.